Ned, then we know the team news. Big changes, as you uh, predicted, and uh, I wonder how Chelsea will line up. Presumably their usual shape, you would think. It is their usual shape, but it's not perhaps the predictable team. I have in my hand, as they say, a piece of paper, and it does make remarkable reading. 11 changes from that game against Huddersfield. The only surviving player is Maluda. So the back four tonight are Belletti, Carvalho, Alex and Ashley Cole. They're in front of uh, Peter Cech. The midfield three are Balak, no Lampard, Makaleli and Essien. Then we'll have Maluda out wide right, Joe Cole left, and Didier Drogba plowing his lone furrow up front. David, does that team you surprise you? Oh, my word, it's very noisy here. That's a, that's a difficult one. You'll have to repeat the question. David, does it surprise you? I mean, there's a couple of big-name absentees there, and it is absolutely, you're absolutely right, very noisy here. Well, I think that I just spoke to Avram Grant. He's very confident in the group that he's sending out. They've got terrific strength in depth. You know, they've got three world-class players through the middle of the team. Petracek, Essien and Drogba returning after quite a successful time in Africa. So I think they'll be very strong here tonight. It'll be great passion. It'll be very difficult for them. But I base it on the fact that Chelsea will do well. They've only conceded two goals in their six games in the group. David Pleat, thanks very much. It is extremely noisy down here. And for a little known fact for our ITV few viewers, David Pleat was once offered the job at Olympiacos. There you go. You see, you learn something every day. Struggling, uh, those boys, with the uh, atmosphere at Olympiacos. It's always noisy there, so... Wholesale changes for Chelsea, as predicted. We'll take a short break, and then we'll look back at how Chelsea reached the last 16 of the Champions League.